Howdy and thanks for checking this out. Uh, first off, uh, I want to thank uh, Bellix Brin. He asked me what's the difference between regular sonar and down imaging. I'm going to hit you up on that. I'm going to let you know how it works. We're going to make this as simple and as easy as we can. Uh, a lot of you have regular sonar. A lot of you have advanced sonar. There's no real in between. It's one or the other. Um, we're going to get right into it. Sonar, sound navigation and ranging. It's been turned into a tool to make you a better fisherman. I'm going to I'm gonna let you know this is how I feel about it. Same as I have a crescent wrench, it's a tool. I don't use it unless I have to. If I know the lake, if I know the area I'm fishing, this stays off. A lot of you are bass fishermen. Um, bass learn what hurts and what doesn't. That's one thing that's been proven with, well, science. Um, they know it hurts, they know it doesn't, and they can associate the two. So if they hear your sonar, it hurts, they're not going to bite. So turn this off if you don't need it. Not my video, but your sonar. Um, kind of get into this. Uh, I'm going to start off with a couple slides that I have saved on my unit. These are actual fishing images. These are not what's coming from a display. So we're going to go through what I actually recorded and then we're going to go through a little bit of display. I'm not going to mess around. Uh, we're going to hit this straight up. We're going to get this done. I mean, you're going to be a you're going to be a professional after this. So sonar shoots out from your boat, goes down to the bottom. You see this little bit right here? That's your hard return. That is your first hard return right there. That means that is the bottom. Now, how is that sonar shooting out? Well, it's shooting out in a cone. That cone, let's take a piece of paper real quick. It's coming out of your boat like that, right? And it's taking slices of data. It's turning them into a picture. Really not hard to understand. You don't need to worry about frequency right now. You don't need to worry about water temp, depth, or how any of that affects it. We're seriously just talking about up and down. I'm going to use a little bit of side scan to give a better idea of how it works. So, what's going on in this picture? If I was deep sea fishing, I would say these are big ass fish and I'm going to catch them. But I wasn't deep sea fishing there. I was in 30 feet of water. I was fishing for catfish. These are bait balls. But they don't look like bait balls. They're arches. Why are they arches? Well, I was drifting at 2.2 miles an hour. I had my lines out, four lines, me, Buddy, and his son, each with cut bait. And let me tell you, these little bitty blips right here were catfish that were coming up, hitting on these bait balls and going back down. And we pulled in a dozen or so, probably more, three pound catfish in Virginia. And I had a blast doing it. And, well, we all did. Now let's talk about a little bit more. This is your regular sonar, is what you're going to see. Now, get into this picture. Same area, right? I got these, what I've already identified as bait balls. Now they could be fish, potentially fish. This is just a tool. Potentially fish. And all this mess in the water column. This is my down imaging. Down imaging has uh, got a better, re better resolution than this. So, what do you mean by better resolution? We're not talking 1080p, 720p. We're talking distance between measurements. So, resolution on this side of the house is about 3 inches. So, I can take a measurement through the water and I can identify returns within 3 to 4 inches. So, I'm going to get a shitload more here on my down imaging versus regular sonar. And I look at my side scan, which we're not talking about specifically today, but I see a whole mess in the water column. We're going to get out of this because we've already talked about that lake. Real quick, you're fishing shallow water, turn your sonar off. Check this out. Nothing but weeds. Right? Nothing on that side scan. Turn it off. The fish are used to, I hear this noise, it equals ouch. Now, 
a lot of say a lot of guys will say oh they they can't identify that well yeah well you know what you dissect them uh, you read this book you read this book and then you say you know what uh, they have these things called lateral lines and yes they're very aware of what sonar is what's this what's going on here I have a side scan picture uh, tree stump right here on my right side a lot of guys will say well if it's on your right side why is it in the center side or why is it in the center of this picture well like I showed you earlier with the cone it takes a 20 to whatever degree that your unit transducer shoots out at and it makes it a 2d picture that you can easily read so in my down imaging I have looks like a tree stump and some crazy stuff going around here what's all this at the top well I had some waves I got wave slap other sounds that kind of meet the frequency confuse the computer over here on my regular sonar straight up we can look at this and tell there's no fish there right there is nothing I got nothing going on here it's got a straight hard return let's move on here I'm gonna point out something neat here in Connecticut it got a lot of lakes uh, a lot of them are well relatively new compared to the history of the state and one thing about Connecticut is rock walls so I have this side scan picture you can look at it and you see there's a straight line and what looks like shadows I'm not gonna get into that and how does that translate into my down imaging and regular sonar down, down imaging I have a straight line I can see this way regular sonar I have a straight line I can see this way and I have these two two little marks here and a mark here what is this what's well, a damn fish I caught now looking at the sonar that's not a fish looking at this it's not a fish doesn't matter I caught him let him go he's about two and a half pound largemouth this is just a tool that identifies structure it allows you to become a better fisherman if you want to become better you need to learn how structure works and how fish adapt and feed off of it right here drop off drop off I see two fish sonar is saying hey there's two fish down there because I got a good arch look at my down imaging I don't have these arches right so when I'm bass fishing I use down imaging why well because bass work off structure these fish work off structure they work off weeds they have to have a path to run to they have to have a path to feed off of um, they're territorial I see something like this I know there's at least one decent fish in this area one maybe two um, here I see tree, tree, line, line, two fish. So, which sonar is better? Well, honestly, you know, if it's, if it's an experienced bass fisherman, well, your down imaging is better. Um, if it's just the guy who, you know, Joe show, shows up, wants to go fishing, he sees these two marks, he's going to fish it, maybe he'll catch a big one, I don't know. I'm going to show you something neat. It's so a local lake. See on my side imaging. I mean, this is like a, this is like a, straight up. Stuck my camera in the water. Took a picture. You can see the rocks. You can see the flat area. So there is a rise in rocks in this area. And they correlate to uh, this hump here and this hump here. Now. you'll notice some differences you see that slight arch right there and you see that what does that mean could mean there's a fish could mean there's a fish I'm gonna take that as a experienced fisherman who's done a lot of them so I'm gonna say that's a rock that's just outside of the viewing image of my down imaging and regular sonar 
So I have a rock. Looks like a fish. I mean, would, would a fish really stick his nose in the mud like that one? No. A little bit further down the line, same thing going on. You can see that same rock that's just outside of your viewing area, but I'm willing to bet it's that guy. You see that nice bright return right there on the side imaging? I think that's him right there. Now, what is this up here? Oh, you got that huge mess. That must be a bait ball. No, that's where I dropped my trolling motor in the water. It made all sorts of noise, and, well, the sonar picked it up. Coming past the same area, a little bit to the left, I have all of my rocks. Got nothing going on here. I have two little blips and the water column on the side scan. And I can see them there on the down imaging. Now, they didn't show up in your regular sonar. Why is that? Well, down imaging is imaging. It takes a picture, puts it flat together. Regular sonar does the same thing. But it's more set towards the fisherman. So, yeah, it's probably just some bait fish. Don't worry about that. You know, you need to get in that. So, I'm going to power this unit down. And I'm going to bring it back up in a mode. that allows us to compare the two. Now, some of you are going to look at what I just said and run with it, right? And you're going to do a good job. Other guys are like, what the fuck are you talking about, guy? Um, let's get into this. Regular sonar, down imaging. Down imaging right here. I have a hump. I see a solid line. That's rocks right there that is a that is a ridge I don't see it up here I see fish I don't see the fish here I mean I see some dots a little bit of solid dots I see that I see a tree here though right so I'm down imaging I'm fishing for bass I see the tree that's kind of cover drop off that's what they like this gives you um, a little bit of backup on your idea there see another tree here a plain as day tree looks like an arch looks like an arch but it may be just the tree branches that are arch shaped to fool your sonar into thinking there's a fish now some guys will look at the regular sonar and say oh man that's a huge bunch of fish there you gotta have down, down imaging well that's a tree now as you get better at it, you'll differentiate the two. So, some guys who have only down imaging will say, Oh, yeah, that's a tree. And guys who have only regular sonar will say, Yep, yeah, that's a tree. Because they know they've been hung up. There's a tree here. I see a little blip here. My down imaging represents a fish up here. Uh, not bad. I'm not going to argue with that. Down imaging, straight line hard bottom return but I look or excuse me regular sonar I look at my down imaging and I kinda see I kinda see uh, I see harder soil here softer soil here so that may lead into a creek channel or something maybe I wanna take a ride on my bass boat and go further up and investigate so we're going to follow through with a little bit of this because um, something you want to learn uh, oops let me fix that right here uh, I have something going on with my regular sonar what's going on? honestly compared to the two is it fish? I don't know I have a drop off, right? A lot of guys say, you know, drop offs attract fish. Are these little blips fish? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's crappie that are outsourced near this branch here, right? A little quick thing. See these darker lines fall on these bright lines? That's the shadow of that tree. 
So when you do down imaging, you do lose some of that sonar, uh, but it, it also gains you a better benefit of an idea how far these branches stick out. So I look here, honestly that looks like a bait ball and a fish to me, but when I come back here I see a tree and nothing. So which one's better than the other? Uh, neither. You should use both to get an idea of what's going on on the bottom. So, tree, clearly a tree, but that's marking it as two fish. I'm going to use that as an idea of what's on the bottom. I'm going to fish that area. I'm going to catch a nice one, too. Uh, you bass fishermen, give this guy up. Stick with down imaging. Stick with cover. Your bass stick so deep to the cover. They're always next to a branch. They're always in the weeds. You're not going to identify them on your regular sonar. Not the ones you're after. Because, well, you're all after trophy fish. Um, stick with this picture here. I see this cover. I'm going to work a bait down that cover. Well, the best I can. Um, you're fishing for striper out in the ocean. Well, there's a the fish there. You know what? He's not used to sonar. He's not used to hearing it. Um, he'll probably still hit your bait. Fish those arches. You know, you're out in the ocean, fish the arches. You're out in the regular bit with the rest of us in these uh, shallow water swamp pits compared to the ocean. Fish the structure. Uh, once again, I'm going to kind of end this uh, here. Hopefully you learned something. I can kind of ramble and rant, and I, I'm pretty sure I did, but if you're a bass fisherman, fish the structure, find the structure, and catch the big ones. The rest of you guys, well, you can rely on the arches because the fish you're going after are much more numerous than... Uh, like I showed you in the catfish bit, uh, they didn't seem to give a shit what I was doing. So, have fun with it. If you have any questions, hit me up. Thank you.